Vlog ng Lucas Banatang Lingo Lo Lalo sa mga talatang isa hanggang Walo At yan po ang sinasabi And he told them a parable To the effect that they ought always to pray And not lose heart He said In a certain city there was a judge Who Neither feared God nor respected man. There was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Give me justice against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterwards he said to himself, Do I neither fear God nor respect man? Yet because this widow keep bothering me, I will give her justice. So that she will not beat me down by her continual coming. And, he, and the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge says. And will not God give justice to his elect who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long ever then, over them? I tell you. He will give justice to them and speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this afternoon. Thank you for God. Gather us in this place, O oh God, to hear thy word preached. Lord, Master, for this poor sins. Yes, Lord, and make your word. Tuloy ng Musa po sa Diyos sa amin sa tulong ng mga Espiritu. Ito po ang tuloy ng muna at tuloy na ang iyong mga salita. Ang Diyos ay hindi mo na kainawan ng kahit yung mga gan sa bawat at sa mga ito sa amin. At ang lahat ng ito po nyo na ang aming maririnig ay hindi lamang namin mayroon maririnig ito. Diyos may kalim namin sa aming mga puso at may apply namin sa aming puso. Lord help us with the help of the Holy Spirit. So isang anong po nga ng unong title ng ating uh, mensahe ng Panginoon sa ating ito is Prayer and Perseverance. Isang mga tatsya ng umaga, ito ay nagisig. Sobrang kahini. Ito naramdaman yung ingay ng isi at yung kalugtog ng electric pump na may nagising. Gusto ko magkape o dumaisuits yung cutter, getter, kasi yung walang kuryente. Mayroon, di ba? Kasi yung walang isi, mainit. Mas magkakapit ka. Hindi ma-i-switch. Tapos, nakagigilig ka ng pagkain, mga kulit eh, yan na yung microwave. Hindi ka makapag-plancha ng damit, mga kuryente. So, ito na lang, tukot. Hindi na pala, kapag yung power ay nawala, mga kuryente, lahat, wala. So, mahirap simulan ang umaga. The same sa aming buhay. Kapag uh, hindi tayo nalangin sa umaga, hindi tayo nakonek sa source, yung power, so mahitap simulan yung 
umaga hanggang sa buong magkati. No, sabi ni John Wesley, I have a lot of things to do, but I need to pray. No, nang nilang minuto, pagkos oras, yung ginugrober nila sa pananalangin. So, hindi lang prayer, but sabi sa ating pag-aaral, ay perseverance. Perseverance sa pananalangin. Even na yung ating mga panalangin ay para bang hindi nasasagot o sinasagot o dinindinig na ay patuloy tayo ng langit. Alam ko, familiar kayo dito sa pasahe na ating uh, pag-aaralan yung patungkol dun sa unjust judge. At uh, ito pong parable na ito ay hindi po siya parable of comparison. Ito po ay parable of contrast. Hindi po yung yahaharin tulad yung ating Panginoon yung sa unjust God, unjust judge pagto siya ay contrast doon sa unjust judge. At kung na alala nyo pa po yung sermon na alam ay madali nyo pong may friend dito sa uh, ating pag-aaral yung pong naram sermon ng um, uh, chapter 17 verses 22 to 37 at uh, yung pong ating pag-aaral ngayon ay kadugtong po ng sermon ng Madalas po yung ating pasaya na ito na pinapag-aralan ay sinasabi natin o iniisip natin na ito ay a call to persevere. A persistent prayer in general. And persevering prayer is surely a valid application. But kung ito po ay i-coconnect natin dun sa preceding context dun po sa Luke 1720 about dun po sa sinabi ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo about the kingdom of God which launched Jesus into a prophetic teaching related dun po sa kanyang pagbabalik there will be a some delay ano po yung tatlong points ni Pastor Lawrence ng Aran? Dahil dahil kami sa atin yung po dahil sa aling ko pa lang ang mga <laughs> manifestation of, of spiritual spiritual manifestation spiritual manifestation and physical manifestation <clears throat> the implication being that one might lose heart because of the delay. No? Ah, maaari pong maghinaan ng loob. No? Yung mga alaga, pagkat yung sinasabing pagbalik ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo ay maantala po. So, it seems reasonable that this parable teaching the call for the necessity of prayer and not losing heart related po dun sa second coming ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo doon sa Luke chapter 17 at uh, yung kumagalagang aspect itong parable on prayer ay mas pangitin po natin doon sa Luke no? na diniscuss niya po doon sa verse 8 hanggang sa mga sumusunod at uh, nagalas po ay maririnig natin sa mga nagtuturo ng Biblia na sinasabi nila na itong parable na ito is a parable teaches the value of infortune or yung troublesome urgent or yung persistent in request or demand prayer at uh, 
hindi po natin uh, inaupos yung mga uh, uh, pagtuturo po nila yun. Bagamat uh, yung po ang ating pag-aaralan dito sa ating uh, parable ay yung po ang the parable by contrast hindi po yung parable by comparison. <clears throat> Kung ito daw pong unjust judge ay dininig niya itong uh, widow because she kept coming continually. <clears throat> By contrast, why do we get discouraged going to God who is not an unjust judge but who actually wants no, na isipunya na dumiling at sagutin yung ating mga panalangin. <clears throat> Ibig po bang sabihin na hindi na tayo mag-engage in unfortunate prayer or fervently beseech God? <clears throat> hindi po. No? <clears throat> the teaching of this parable is that we must continue in our prayer even when this seems to be no answer. Because God, unlike the unjust judge, is a loving God, a good and a gracious God. We persist in prayer not because we have not yet gotten God. No? Attention. Hindi tayo ay nananalangin para lang kunin ang attention ng ating Panginoon. But because we know that He cares and to hear yung pong ating mga panalangin. Ito pong si Samuel Storm, kung kilala niyo po siya, uh, sa kong kaibigan, <laughs> ay meron siyang mga questions na nilagay niyo sa kanyang book na Reaching God's Ear. At pansinin po natin yung kanyang mga katanungan. Sabi po niya, do we repeat the request because we think that the quality of a prayer is dependent on the quantity of words? Inuulit daw po ba natin yung ating mga panalangin? Kapagkat yung quality ng ating panalangin ay nakadepende doon sa dami o bilang ng ating mga words? Do we repeat the, quest, the request because we think that God is ignorant and need to be informed? Or if not ignorant, at least he is unconcerned and therefore need to be aroused? Iba alam ng Diyos ng ating mga pangailangan. Sabi nga ng Bible, before pa natin panggitin, ng ating mga paralangin ay alam na sa hindi po siya kailangan po Do we repeat our prayers because we believe that God is not willing to answer and we must prevail upon Him somehow transforming a hard-hearted God into a compassionate and loving one? Yan lang po ba kapag tayo ay malangin? Or do we repeat a petition because we think that God will dissuade in this in His decision by our putting on a show of zeal and piety, as if God cannot see through the thin veil of hypocrisy? Ayo po yung mga katanungan ng nilagay ni Samuel Strong sa kanyang book reaching God's ear. At ito pong parable ang lesson po has often been greatly misunderstood because most people think it teaches a fervorous infortunity. Ay ito raw prayer na ito is a virtue. So marami po ang mga sermon na tungkol po dito na sa text na ito na mali po yung pagkahanap ng text na 
Inuturo po na we are desperately to beg God. Desperately tayo na ibig natin yung Panginoon to answer our prayer. And this is not the idea at all. So yung pong parable of the unjust judge at ito pong testing widow o yung makulit na widow is a parable of contrast. No, hindi po siya parable of comparison. Kung parable of comparison, pinagkukumpara. Yung um, unjust judge kung kukumpara sa ating Panginoon. But by contrast, ito si unjust ito siya ang Diyos ay hindi unjust. <coughs> yung po yung parable na ito. So yung po malinaw na lesson dito sa parable dito. God is not like the judge. For God is good and gracious. And we are not like that widow. No, hindi po tayo magaya ng balo. No, hindi po nabanggit yung pangalan. No? For we are the children of God. No, kung tayo po ay nag-repent na ng palataya sa ating tunas sa Kristo at tinanggap siya bilang Panginoon at tagapagligtas, then we are the children of God. No, kung para dun sa sa so, video na hindi na pang video ang pangalan. <clears throat> Sabi po dito, Now, he was telling them a parable sa mga disipulo. At yung pong sinabi ng Panginoong sa Kristo doon sa 1720 to 37, ay bibigay po ng detalye about doon sa day of the Son of Man. Yung pong magbabalik ng ating Panso Kristo doon sa verse 26. And the day of the Son. Sabi po, the Son of Man. Sabi po sa 24 at doon sa 30. So sino po yung them? Who are them? Sabi po si Pong Salim sa NIV, His disciples. Ka, tama po ba yun yung disciples, yung kanyang pinagsasabihan? At matche-check po natin yun doon sa verse 22 ng chapter 17. Doon po sa previous natin pag-aaral, sa uh, last uh, preaching, he said to the disciples, I put this uh, verse 22, and he said to the disciples, the day are coming when you will decide to see one of the day of the Son of Man, and you will not see it. At sabi po sa 18 verse 1, and he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. Dahil maantala yung pagdating ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo, sabi niya sa mga mga disipulo, magpatuloy kayo sa panunalanin and not lose heart. At ito po ay na link no? doon sa parable and teaching about doon sa delay ng ating masukwisto doon sa previous chapter. At there is an interval. No? Perhaps hindi lamang ilang taon because mahabang panahon no? ang paghihintay ng mga disibulo sa pagbabalik ng ating Pangyong sa Kristo upang mag-fulfill yung kanyang sinabi is mahabang uh, panahon. At uh, hanggang ngayon ay wala na yung mga disipulo ay hindi pa nangyayari yung sinabi ng Panginoon. Kaya hindi lamang niya ina-address yun sa mga disipulo but ina-address niya rin sa atin bilang kanyang mahal para rin. 
to pray continually and not to lose heart. Sabi po, at all times, at all times, constantly be repeating prayers because Jesus warned against that kind of praying. Hindi po yung panalangin na paulit-ulit natin sinasalita, yung memorized prayer. Hindi po yan. Sapagkat ay nagbigay po siya ng warning sa kumpul doon, doon sa Matthew 6, 5 to 15. No? Ba, sa halip, ang ibig pong sabihin ay yung continual yung prayer as natural to us as our regular bread. Yung pong prayer na natural sa atin na para ba yung kung paano tayo humihina. So yung daw pong may sakit no? ay hindi niya iniisip yung kanyang paghinga hanggang sa siya ay hindi magkasakit. Kasi continuous yung kanyang uh, breath. No? Kung nagkasakit ka, medyo mahirap ang hinga. Kaya mapapansin mo yung yung paghinga. No? <clears throat> Prayer is to be the natural habit of our lives. The atmosphere in which we constantly live. Prayer is much more than the word of our lips. Ang daw pong pangalangin ay higit pa doon sa mga words sa ating mga lalim. It is the desire of our heart and our heart are constantly desiring before God. <clears throat> Even if we never speak a word. So to pray without ceasing means to have such holy desire in our heart in the will of God that we are constantly in loving communion with the Father petitioning Him for His blessing. Kung pabibigyan po tayo, do we want to pray or pain? Yan po yung introduction. Kasi madalas, wow, kagaya ng uh, unjust God, no? kulitin natin ang Panginoon. No? Manalain ka na manalain hanggang sa sagutin niya yung ating panalain. Ba't hindi po ganun yung lesson na tinuturo po dito ang pasahin na ito. Uh, it is a contrast. Kung yung unjust judge ay ang sarili lang niya, ang kanyang iniisip, ba't ang ating Panginoon, ang sarili natin ng kanyang mga anak ang kanyang inisip. Binigay nga niya yung kanyang buhay para sa atin. At this unjust God is uh, opposite. Uh, Kabalik ka lang po ng ating uh, Panginoon. So, Simmering prayer in 8, one, and 8 and 1 to 8. Uh, okay, sa palang po. So ito po ay isang difficult aspect no, of prayer. The significant aspect of prayer is persevering when it seems that God is not answering our prayer. No? So Jesus instruct us to pray that the Father's kingdom will come and will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And yet, may get 2,000 years na po ang nakararaan. And that prayer prayed by millions of times and by millions of Christians down through the centuries is still not answered. <clears throat> the Lord Jesus knew the weakness of, the, of our flesh and that we are all prone to lose heart. Alam po niya yung weakness natin at tayo ay prone dun sa mawala ng pag-asa to lose heart. No? So in light of that, he graciously gave his disciples, not only his disciples, but also us, no? dito pong parable na to, to show that at all times, they and we ought to pray and not lose heart. So this instruction fits 
in a way the preceding context sa ko kanina where the Lord told the disciples that the day would come when they would long to see one of the days of the Son of Man but they would not see it they would not see it I put this up verse 22 and chapter 17 and during that time between his ascension and his second coming the world would go on in its disregard of God niyo pong mundo ay patuloy po sa kanila mga gawain na dinidisregard po nila yung Diyos much as it had in the days of Noah and of Lot no? yung nakarang uh, reaching no? kagaya ng panahon ni Noah ni Lot no? yung mga pag-aaralaman ng kanina hundred years hundred twenty years nag-preach si Noah but hindi po siya pinapansin even dun sa panahon ni Lord <clears throat> during this time of waiting and a struggle how can we persevere ano po tayo and Jesus shows that we will persevere as we continue in believing Prayer. And to persevere in prayer. Hindi lang tayo maniwala sa sa panlangin, but please mag-persevere tayo sa panlangin. To pray always and at loose heart, we must properly understand both God and ourselves. Kailangan po natin maunawaan yung Diyos at yung ang ating sarili. God has promised that His Messiah, the Son of Man, will return one day in power and glory. He will judge the earth and vindicate His people. But, dun sa pagitan, no, as we wait for His promise to fulfill, to be fulfilled, if we want not to lose heart, we must pray always. Kumusta na po yung ating no, prayer life? Pag uh, pagkutin na sa pag-uwi sa gabi, uh, mananalain tayo yung amen daw sa umaga na. <laughs> Kasi habang nananalain, ay nakatulog. Pag-uwi okay, sa umaga, amen. <laughs> At nalit ka sa pag-uwisin mo sa umaga, ay mamadali ka, diretso sa banyo, hindi ka naramain, pakubo sa metro, Kung nasa maraming sa office, nakalimutan na natin manalangin. At it's very difficult nung maghapon <laughs> na wala tayo panalangin. So, nga, pag hindi ka nakonek dun sa source, dun sa power, um, ang hirap na maghapon. At all times, we ought to pray. Sabi po. As the Apostle Paul instruct us, we should pray Without ceasing, sabi po doon sa 1 Thessalonica 5.17 no? At uh, kung tayo po ay hanes, no? uh, iniisip po natin, napaka-imposible naman ng pastor Pray without ceasing Wala no? na ba akong gagawin kung di manalangin na <laughs> Ang dami ko pang gagawin eh Inis pa ako, mag-alaga ng bata Papasyal po yung aso Ang dami, tapos sasabihin mo, pray without ceasing. How can I possibly pray without ceasing? What I'm supposed to do? Sasali ba ako sa isang monastery? Or something na ginagawa lang sa pag-apon ay nananalangin? No. Jesus modeled for us the kind of life that we are to live in dependence of the Father. As we look at His life, no, kung titignan po natin yung buhay ng ating Panso Kristo, hindi po siya nagpunta sa bundok at naging hermit no, para maranahan around the clock. No. Rather, prayer was something that Jesus frequently engaged in. Yung po yung ating Panso Kristo. At <coughs> Jesus had the least need to pray. He did not have to wrestle with the inner lust of the flesh na kagaya natin. No? 
since he was born without sin, yet he opened and prayed. Hindi po siya nang struggle Doon po sa flesh, no? sa mga kasalanan, mayroon ng ating flesh. Sabagkat itinilang siya na walang kasalanan, but, but siya ay madalas. Yeah. Or he opens, pray. Doon po sa Luke 3.21, Jesus prayed as the Holy Spirit descended on him at his baptism. At doon sa Luke 5.16, Jesus often would sleep away. Siya po ay uh, humihiwalay sa maraming tao no? at tumungo doon sa tahimik na lugar upang siya ay manalangin. He spent the whole night in prayer before he called the twelve disciples. Luke 6.12 It was while he was praying that Peter gave his well-known confession that Jesus is the Christ. Luke 9.18 It was while he was in the mountain praying that he was transfigured before Peter, John's, John, James, and John. Luke 9.28 and 29 And all the night before the cross, Jesus not only prayed for Peter that his faith would not fail, but he also agonized fervently in prayer, sweating great drops of blood as he wrestled with becoming our sin bearer. At even nung nasa bunda po, nandun na po siya, nakapagod sa cross, He still prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So when the Apostle Paul tells us to pray without ceasing, yung pong word na ginamit dito ni Apostle Paul, no? use of repeated, yung pong repeated military assault. Yung pong military attack, then na atras, magre-regroup, then na attack. Yan ang paulit-ulit hanggang sila po ay mag-get nila yung victory. At isa rin po dito yung hacking cough. Bubo, tapos hihinga mo na, ubulit. Yan po yung, ala, hindi yung ububo ka lang, hindi ka nahihinga. Baka mo na ka na naghihinga. <laughs> Yan po yung sinasabi ni Apostle, yung po yung dinamit ni Apostle Paul dito, yung pray without ceasing. It's a natural like yung hindi na tayo. The word oath, oath po, no? is the idea of necessity. We, sabi po niya, uh, that they ought always to pray. Prayer is not an optional activity or more commitment, commitment. It is a necessary necessity for every believer because we acknowledge, it acknowledge our total, na acknowledge po yung, uh, yung, yung total dependence po natin sa Diyos. Kapag daw di tayo nananalangin, no? <clears throat> not to pray is arrogance because sinasabi dati, Salamat to Diyos, but I can handle my situation. But the truth is, we cannot handle ang ating mga situation. It is apart from God and His grace and His power. So, at all times, we ought to pray. But not only that, no? Tayo ay nananayin because we are prone to lose heart and to give up on prayer. At alam po yan ng ating Panginoon Kristo kung kaya po sinabi niya ito, parabol na ito sa kanyang mga lagay at even sa akin. So this parable and yung pong susunod na parabol regarding po sa prayer, na yung prayer ng publikano at yung isang uh, sinar. <laughs> 
kung sa church and kung sa susunod na pag-aaral. Uh, Jesus nyo na tayo ay mahina. We are weak na harapin yung delay ng kanyang pagdating. At habang hinihintay natin yung ating yung pagdating ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo, no, tayo ay pagkatawanan ng sanglibutan ito dahil sa ating pananampalataya. O, oh, sabi nyo, para tingnan, 2,000. Sabi nung nakaroon nga, 2012. Ngayon, 2012. Ngayon, 2023 lang. Marami magkatawa sa atin. So, kaya sabi natin, malapit na ang pagbalik ng ating Panginoon. No? Kaya, sinabi na ating Panginoon. No? No? So, tatawa na tayo. We will be prone to lose our and quit praying. There are numbers of reasons that we are prone to lose heart and quit praying. Sometimes, kabisado natin yung ating mga ginagawa. Ah, kabisado mo ito, matalino ko, no, I can do by myself. Then we lose heart. We don't ask, uh, we don't ask the guidance uh, at wisdom sa Panginoon. Sometimes, sinagkaroban tayo ng natural ability. So, gano'n na natin yung ating mga ginagawa. No? Dahil sa alam natin, we don't need to pray. Kasi, ito rin ito nang ginagawa ko. So, we are prone to lose our and to give up. To give up, to push up in panalangin. So, kaya, ta, pinalalahanan ng ating Panginoon na hindi lamang ang kanyang mga disipyo, but tayong kanyang mga anak, tayong kanyang mga naligtas. No? na patuloy tayo sa panalangin no? and not to lose heart. So, at isa pang main reason that we lose heart in prayer is the delay in God's answer sa ating mga panalangin. Ito so, yung panawawa ng kananang uh, pag-asa. Ang tagal ko nang pinanalangin ito. But hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa inutugon ng Panginoon. Hindi. Naisip ba natin yung ating pinanalangin ay in line dun sa will ng Panginoon? Kapag ito ay in line dun sa will ng Panginoon, ay siyak niya sa sagutin. Sabi nga po, tatlo, tatlong sagot ng Panginoon sa ating mga panalangin. O, meron pa pang isang sideline sagot. <laughs> no, no, God will answer our prayer with a yes. Ang bilis, misan nung pinanalangin mo pa lang. Sabi mo, wala akong pambahay ng bill ngayon. Mayamaya kung matok si Kumari o si Kapagbahay. Ay, may ano pala dito. No? Yes. Ang misan, no. Ang sagot, no. No, ang, ang, ang panalangin natin ay sinasagot ng no. Uh, maybe. Kung nanalain ka ng magkasasakyan, wala ka ng lisensya. <laughs> Talagang no. Oh, wala ka tayo ng sasakyan. Lisensya ka muna, di ba? And sometimes wait. No? Ang panalain ito, na sinasakyan ng Panginoon. Wait, maghintay ka. Maghintay ka. No? At uh, ang panalain mo rin, ay didinggi ng Panginoon. At yung isa pong kasagutan, <laughs> nung nag-bibiyas kami doon kila Sister Ali, no, sasagutin ang Panginoon yung panalain mo. Sige, bahala ka na. <laughs> no, hindi po ganun. Pag minsan, tayo ay nananalangin. No? Yung ating panalangin ay hindi in line sa will of God. Then pinipilit natin, natugunan ng Panginoon yung ating panalangin. No? At minsan, natugunan ng Panginoon yung ating panalangin. But, you very there at least yung consequences mm -hmm. ng ating panalangin. Meron pong isang pastor, meron siyang anak na babae. Daddy, sabi niya, sa mga araw, I want a roller, more rollers, roller ski. Sabi niya, ng kanyang anak na dalagita. Then sabi ng pastor, but darling, you have a roller ski. Yes, daddy. I have a uh, red one. Let's have a ball roller skate. 
But I want roller, ball roller, ski. So, uh, yung pastor, the police, and I say, Pupunta na na, uh, Bible study. So, pag we ng pastor, nakita niya sa pinto, may nakadikit, Daddy, I want a ball to go for ski. Pagpasok ng tatay, Pati kakain siya na sa mesa, may nakatikit na naman doon na speaker. Daddy, I want ball to go for ski. <laughs> At nung papasok sa kwarto yung tatay, higa na siya, nakita doon sa kanya ng tilo, nakatikit na ng speaker. Daddy, I want a ball to go for ski. Gawalan niya na kayong ganito. Hindi ba? Tari lang. Then, hindi, hindi na lang, hindi, hindi na lang kung saan pinuha yung pera ng tatay. Dahil pastor, ano nyo naman, no? Isang lang pera. Talagang isang lang na. Pagkat full-time pastor, nagigada sa lugar namin, pag kinunta yung buhay ng pastor, iyak pati kalabaw. No? So, pag nisa po, na-statistin yung mga pastor, sa mga panibigyan na dito, no? dinadala po kasi ng mga gulay, na no? yung mga ani dun sa bukid. So, wala talagang pera ng pastor. So, <clears throat> pagbalik ng tatay, dala niya yung goal of the escape. Sinabi sa kwento, paano niya nabili yung goal of the escape. No? At pagkatapos, sinalubong siya ng kanyang anak. Hinakayan at niyapag ng kanyang tatay. Thank you, daddy. You bought me a ball or a skate. Ang mama din yung bata, sinunod niya yung ball or a skate. No? At pagkatapos lumabas, ball or a skate. Ang mama sa uh, hindi plat na plat na semento, katumba, magkap ang ulo, patay. <laughs> At sabi ng pasto, no? yeah, uh, yun, isang, yun, yun ang isang lesson kapag pinipilit natin ibigay yung hilihilin natin sa Panginoon. Sometimes he will give, but itake pa natin yung consequences. Gaya ng mga Israelita, hindi ng king, 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 meron silang king, binigyan sila ng haring sa buhay. Masa yung pangusta ba? Halit po natin ng ating. So the main reason to lose her, is to delay, no? yung delay ng answer ng ating mga panalangin. So in the context, this is the source of discouragement that Jesus is addressing. Ina-address po ng ating panas ng Kristo ito, yung mga pari hindi tayo mag-discourage doon sa paghihintay natin sa kanyang pagdarat pagbabalik. No? He knew that His coming would be, de de would be delayed to the point that the disciple would long to see him to come, but he will not come. Sabi po sa verse 22. And during his absence, they would be mocked and rejected as just as Noah and Lot. No? Dahil po na ating pinag-aaralan. Sa kanilang paghihintay ay sila ay kukutsain, no? rejected, Sa gaya pa ng panahon ni Noah at ni Lord. Some will be persecuted to the point of death. Others will be thrown through hopeful hardship. And he knew that from our limited human perspective, it often seems that God is not answering or even listening when we pray because we do not see things from His eternal perspective. No, tinitingnan lang po natin sa ating perspektibo. Hindi natin tinitingnan sa perspektibo ng Diyos. Bakit ba natin-delay o tinitingnan ng Panginoon ng ating mga panalangin? <clears throat> and so, He told this parable to show that at all times we ought to pray and not lose heart. At meron po tayong dalawang karakter dito sa parabol. Ay yung kung una, yung wicked judge. Who cares about no one 
mm-hmm. but himself. Mm-hmm. He did not fear God, he did not fear people. He cares only about himself. He even, he even knows that he is a squal- scoundrel, yung uh, Because no, iniisip niya itong makulit na ruido ng woman, uh, he, he admits in his own mind that he does not fear God, not respect him, nor respect man, but he just wants to get rid of her to gain some relief. Pinagbigyan uh, niya lang yung rito para tumigil na lang sa kapulitan at hindi na siya gagambalahin. She was annoying him to the point that he says, literally, sa ibang salin po, sabi rin, he's going to give me a black eye. Mm-hmm. Hindi po literally na binhinit niya yung kanyang eye para magka-black eye. But of course, no, na, yung kong mararamdaman niya yung emotionally beat up by her yung dahil sa kanyang non-stop na pangulit. And the second character, ito po yung Mido. So, doon pong uh, sa society na noon, ang panahon nila, no, ito pong Mido ay uh, the mga Mido po are especially vulnerable. Uh, sila po ay walang uh, uh, karapatang pumunta sa law before. No, kaya yung Mido na to ay masasabi na wala siyang wala na siyang husband. Kung hindi, uh, yung husband niya yung pupunta sa court. No? At hindi rin po siya marahil ay Jew. Sapagkat kung siya ay Jew, pupunta siya doon sa mga elder. No? Yung po yung ano nila, constitutive po nila naman. She was dependent on whatever her husband had left her. But now, ay kinuha pa ng iba. No? Kaya siya ay nabuhay. Wala na natira sa kanya. No, kaya siya ay lumapit doon sa judge upang humili ng katarungan. He takes one look at her and take you. No, Tinignan po siya ng judge. Sabi ko ng judge, uh, walang isusukol itong babae sa akin. So, uh, at siya pera siya. So, Nandiyan yung kasama niya, ilabas. Dahil yung judge, no, uh, pinabreak po sila noon. So, uh, hindi po siya uh, Jew also. Sabi ko, in a certain city, no, kasi ako pa ang judge noon. So, so, kapag wala akong pera, so yung kaso mo ay sa ilalim lang. No, hindi lang sa panahon nila noon. Kasi ang mga natin ngayon, ganun din ang nangyayari. No? Ang mayaman, siya lang ang gay justice. But meron naman uh, ibang uh, ikaw-anong justice. Ikaw natin di mayaman. But sabi nga, nani speaks. Yeah. Yun po yung sa court. Yung sa court. No? <clears throat> At nung inilabas siya ng kanyang uh, Kasamahan sa court, no, dahil hindi niya masikaso yung kanyang case, no, ang inisip niya ay okay na siya. No, wala na, hindi na siya kagambalain nitong, nitong video. But saan man siya pumunta ay sinusundan-sundan siya nitong video. Paglabas niya sa courtroom, nandun yung video. Pag-uwi siya, abay siya, nandun lagi yung video. No? Sunod-sunod siya, saan man siya pumunta. So, but it's sabi, she beginning to dominate his life. He begins to hate going to work because he's going to be confronted by this nagging woman. And finally, after weeks of going on like this, sinabi niya sa kanyang sarili, even though I am not fear God, I don't care about this woman. I'm going to grant her request just to get her off my back. Jesus says, hear what the unrighteous judge says. 
Uh, at meron po mga lesson tayo makikita rito sa situation na ito about persevering in prayer when God seems to delay the answer. At uh, what lesson po yung makikita rito? We need to, we need a proper view of God. We need a proper view of God. We will be greatly mistaken if we thought that Jesus was teaching that God is like this self-centered callous judge. Hindi po. Hindi po siya comparison. But cross contrast. That would run counter to the entire biblical revelation of the character of God. Kung babasahin po natin yung buong Bible at makikita natin yung character ng Diyos doon. God as a loving and tender father no, in relation to his children. His widow could get justice from this hardened and caring old judge does not it follows that the loving, tender, gracious heavenly father will hear and answer his own children. So ito sa akin lang mga pananahin. Kung itong widow, no, ay dininig ng judge dahil sa kanyang pangulit hindi ba tayo dinitindigin ng Panginoon sa ating mga panalan na siya ay hindi unjust but unjust siya ay just God a loving and caring God and when we look yung view uh, yung view po natin pag titignan natin sa proper views ng Diyos God cares for us. God cares for us. As just a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of his time. <clears throat> Isaiah 49, 14 to 16. The Lord has forsaken me and the Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child and have no compassion on the sand of her womb? Even this may forget, but I will not forget you. Behold, I have inscribed you in the palm of my hands. Inipukit kita sa aking mga palat sa ilo. At dun sa Peter, 1 Peter 5, 6-7, sinulat po ni Apostle Paul, Humble yourselves, therefore under the mighty hands of God, that He may exalt you at the proper time, casting on your curse or your anxiety, upon him because he cares for you. Sinulat po ni po sa Peter 2 doon sa mga Christian na pinapersecute po noon. Panahon ni Nero, binabalot po sila ang kitlang at ginagawa ang ilawan dun sa party. But then sabi po ni po sa Paul, humble yourself therefore under the mighty hands of God that he may exalt you at the proper time Casting all your anxiety upon him because he cares for you. God cares for us. Well, patuloy po tayo doon sa ating panalangin sa Panginoon because we know that he cares for us. Even when we are suffering terribly, nagay po sa atin sa ating mga isipan that God is totally Unlike this uncaring just judge, God cares for you. God never delays answers because of lack of care or lack of power. Hindi po niya dinidelay dahil wala siyang pakilang. Wala siyang care sa atin o wala siyang power. Although even in this lifetime, we may not understand the reason why God delayed to answer our cries of agony, we can know for certain that He never delays to answer 
because he does not care for us and because he is unable to do what we need. He is able to do far more than we ask or even think, even if it seems impossible to us. Because he is omniscient, God knows even the needs that we do not bring to him in prayer. Omniscient po yung Panginoon, even yung mga hindi natin tinapanalangin, ay alam po ng Panginoon. Because He is omnipresent, kaya po niyang tugunan sa pagsabay. Pagsabay pa, yung at mo lang. Ano lang yun? Because He is omnipotent, He has plenty of power to go around meeting your needs and my needs because hindi po yung matitrain yung kung kanya supply. God delays our prayer, our, God delays are always for our good, even, the, even if the reason are hidden from us. Yung pong uh, uh, pag-delay ng answer ng Panginoon sa ating mga panlangin is for our good. The reason for the delay with the widow was the unjust judge was unwilling. No? Kaya po na delay yung tugon sa video ng kanyang kahilingan kasi unwilling yung judge. But that is never the reason with our loving Father in heaven. The unjust judge was acting out of selfish motive. No? Kasi wala nga siya mabawa dun sa babae. No? O kaya hindi niya matugunan yung kanyang kahilingan. Even when he finally granted his request. But God always act out of self-sacrificing love. A sin supremely. No? Makikita po natin yung ginawa niya dun sa cross of Calvary. His judge was only concerned for his own relief. Concerned lamang po siya dun sa kanyang sariling relief. But God acts out of wise concern for the well-being of His people. God doesn't usually explain in advance why He is delaying the answer to our request. But we need to cling to the fact that His delay are always for our good, even if we don't understand the reason why. And sometimes, when we get the time na we get the time to get the time, we get the time to get the time. We get the time to 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 get the time Don't the cross, the cross on that way. Sometimes, God delays the answer to us at mga panlayan because it is for our good. God ultimately will bring swift and certain justice for His children, for His elect. Jesus asked, will He delay long over them? And then answer emphatically, I tell you, that he will bring about justice to them speedily. Sari po dyan sa 18 verse 7 hanggang 8. So ito pong question na ito ay napakahirap. Ang gayong speedily. Kailangan so, makita natin doon sa view of oh God. No? Hindi yun sa ating view. <coughs> So Jesus means, no, speedily, sa ating Panginoon, ito po yung speedily sa Kanya, no? when He says that justice will come speedily, no, dalawang, may git dalawang taon na ang nakalilipas, and Jesus has not returned to rescue these needy people. 
We all know the stories about the mga faithful saint na nalangi. No? At sometimes, ay ibinigay, ibinuos nila yung kanilang buhay sa panalangin, but hindi natugunan yung kanilang panalangin. So ano po yung ibig sabihin ng speedily? What does speedily means? Yung bang pangunahan ka ngayon, babagsak na sa harap mo, ano yung sagot? Yan ang ba yung speedily sa Panginoon? No. You must understand it from God's timetable. No, hindi po dun sa timetable natin. With the Lord, sorry to the second Peter, no, a thousand years are like a day and as a watch in the night. He told Noah that there will be a flood. Pero isang, daong ta isang daang taon na ang nakalilipas ni patak ng ulan ay wala pa. <clears throat> While Noah is enduring his mocking neighbor, he promised Abraham a son, but he was Sarah. Oh, tumatanda na, and then of course, at 25 years elapsed before ipinanganak, ipinanganak si Isaac. He promised Joseph, nung teenager pa siya, no, sa kanyang panaginip. Na yung kanyang ama at mga kapatid ay magbabaw down sa kanya ng luhod. But nispend niya yung kanyang kabataan, yung kanyang apentis dun sa kulungan, dun sa dungeon of Egypt. He promised to deliver his people from bondage in Egypt. But 400 years ang nagandang ang, ang, ang lumipas bago isinilang si Moises at si Moises ay 40 years pang nag-spend doon sa desert bago siya speedily at pagkatapos he promised to send his Messiah but his people had wait again 400 years after the last prophet before no? and in the fullness of time God sent his son mm -hmm. sabi po dun sa Galatia 4 4 speedily by God's calendar is not speedily by ours kasi tayo gusto natin isang isang ikla magic kasi tayo kaya bagay na bagay yung parabol na ito. Keep finally praying and not lose heart. One answer to the problem of delaying answer to our prayer is to get properly new of God. <clears throat> then, we need a proper view of ourselves. After our proper view of God, we need a proper view of ourselves. We are often grieved by mistreatment and difficult trials. Mm. Uh, to the church is like that widow in church who, do not, uh, who not only lost her husband, but then she had to contend with someone who was taking unfair advantage of her. <clears throat> At maraming mga saints pinakita sa Bible that they were tortured, they were mocked, scourged, put in chain, no? imprisonment, stone, yung iba, hinati pa ng dalawa, no? at yung iba ay pinatay sa pamagitan ng mga spada. They went about in animal skin, being destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, Wandering the desert and mountain and caves and holes in the ground. All of this having been approval to faith through their faith, did not receive what was promised. Sabi po sa Hebrews 11, 35 to 39. We often read by mistreatment and difficult trials. Not only that, we all we should persist and bring our heartfelt need to God. We should persistently bring 
our the heartfelt needs sa Panginoon. Ito pong widow, no? gaya ng itong widow, we should cry out loud day and night to our Father in heaven. Nagagawa po ba natin yun? Sabi niya, day and night. Pa tayo. Kailan lang tayo na nalangin. Let's we need a view. We need a proper view sa ating ourselves. Kung may kailangan na, wala na. Hindi na. She has no attorney. Wala siyang advocate. No, nalalapitan. But we have the Holy Spirit to help us pray as we owe. And the Lord Jesus himself interceding us on the right hand of the Father. No? She had no guarantee kung mamukuha niya yung kanyang kasagutan doon sa judge. Ito pong ito. No guarantee. No? But sa atin, no? we have the Lord's promise that whatever we ask in His name, He will be, he will be pagkakalabay. At sabi po ni sa mga chinos, kung ito ay pinigilin natin according to His will. No? So what made this widow persist is that she knew her great need. Kaya po siya persistent, no? Sapagkat alam niya yung great na need niya. No? <clears throat> Sometimes the Lord would delay to answer us because we do not see how needy we really are until He keeps us waiting for a while. Hindi daw makita ng Diyos na gabang mga nailangan ang God hindi niya may delay yung ating ang pagsagot sa ating mga panalangin. It is only when we sense our own insufficiency that we can begin to pray. So, if yung kung ating panalangin is in line with the will of God, then God surely will answer our prayer. But how would I know the will of God? Yung nagtanong, di ba? The question is, bako ko manalaman yung will ng Panginoon? Tulubuksan niyo, yung Bible niyo. Para madawa natin yung will ng Panginoon. Sabi po sa John 6.40, for this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in Him should have eternal life, and I will raise Him up on the last days. This is the will of my Father. At kung tayo ay walang relasyon sa Panginoon sa ating Panginoon Kristo, kaya ng isang anak, na hindi naman niya tatay yung kanyang hinihigan ay chak na hindi ito hinihigan at ang masutuhanan yung kanyang hinihigan iba po kasi yung kilala kaysa doon sa may relasyon ka kasi kung kilala mo lang ito ba natin nga itong kilala natin yung din si Putin kilala mo si Putin kilala ka ba ni Putin mahirap ka sa'yo yung isang ni Sel, no? <laughs> Pag may relasyon ka ay malali. No? You can uh, nandun po yung yung confidence that you can come. No? Kaya ng isang bata kahit na may meeting yung kanyang tatay, kapag dumating yung yung bata at kumahinilig sa tatay, ay ini-estima niya muna yung ano bago magpatuloy din sa kanya ginagawa. So, ganun po yung uh, tayo. Kung tayo ay may tamang relasyon. If we are uh, His children, not God's children, we can call Him our Father and He will answer our prayer. We must trust Him even when the answers are delayed. No? Patuloy po tayong magtiwala sa Panginoon. Kahit delay yung answer, 
sa ating panulangin. Sa totoo lang, hindi delay. God is always is on time. He's, he's not delayed. And He's not limited. Wala po siyang limit. limit. Yung kanyang resources ay hindi po nag-drain. No? Kung ikaw ay mayroong uh, system tank, no? ay mauubusan po ng tubig yun. No? Uh, pero ang Panginoon ay hindi mauubusan ng <laughs> resources. Sometimes he is waiting like the patient farmer until the fruit of goodness, faith, and humility in our hearts is ripe before he grants the answer. Kapag nakita niya namin ang goodness, yung faith, and humility sa ating mga puso, then he will grant the answer of our prayer. One thing that we can face God is what? Faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith na tayo ay naliwala doon sa kanyang mga pangako, doon sa kanyang mga salita. Kapag ano yung kanyang sinabi, it will come to pass. Because we know that He is fulfilling His promises. Faith. At yung mga maraming Friday, napag-aralan din natin yung faith. Faith, sa English term, ay wala pong katumbas yung faith. Masasabi yung pa, I think in God, or I believe in God. Ang ginamit lang po doon, believe. Pero yung faith, sa English language, ay wala po siya kapareho. Yung pananampalataya. Believe. Punta ka sa market, sasabihin sa'yo, believe on this and you will go to heaven. Tapos pumunta ko sa isang lugar, believe on this and you will get to heaven. God's believe. Ano ba niya niwala? No? Yung pananampalatayan natin sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo. At uh, sa kanyang mga salita at sa Lord. Then, we can please God because of faith. Sabi nga, you are not, we are we are saved through faith, not because of our works. <clears throat> Jesus says that when he returns, he will be looking for faith on the earth. But the implication is that it will be a scarce commodity. While the world may stop or mock or ridiculous, because God seemingly neglected His saints, surely we ought to cling to Him in faith. Kailangan tayong manasay na may pananang palatay. With faith. Yung faith po, sabi nyo, compels us to act. It compels us to act in faith. Sabi ka nila, hindi ka magdiyan. No? At Mga patingin mo yung gamot ay makakagaling sa'yo. Then, yung faith mo na yun, it will compel you to take that medicine and drink that medicine. So, faith compels us to do it or to make action. Pero kung isang Lola, ano na sa isang pwede na Lola? Si Lola, no, ay may sakit. At nabaitaan niya na may isang magaling na mga gamot na pumunta doon sa karatig banyo na. At siya ay tumaroon. Sapagkat kilala itong doktor, ay nagmadili, magalidali si Lola na pumunta doon sa doktor. Sa lugar na kung nasa ang doktor. At siya ay pumila. No? Nakapila. Layo siya. Kaya nakita na yung doktor ay ito yung famous doktor na maraming ang nagsasabi na marami siyang napapakaling. So, inisaysa ng doktor ang kumakarating sa kay Lola. Then, si Lola, tinanong ng doktor, ano po yung sakit niya, Lola? Tagal ko nang naranan naman kung nga rin na yun. Nangangit ko sa mga kasapasok. Sorry, si Lola. Ah, sorry, sorry. 
Baka po sa pagtanda lang ito. <laughs> Kasi matanda na sila. Sa madaling sabi, kinuna ng reseta si doktor, sinulat na prescription. Nakalala, inumin niyo po ito three times a day. Ito ang luwa sa ito, lalo pa madali. Sa pagkakaraan, hindi na pa pagkakaroon ito ng doktor. Hindi sa bahay. Balik po kayo after one week, hindi na natin ang naging resort. Bumalik si Nora. Nakalala, inuwa niyo po ang mga gabili ko sa inyo. Opo, Dok. Ito, malakas na po ako. At ito ang reseta, kalahati pa lang. Hindi pa naubos. Hindi pa naubos yung reseta. Bumalik na siya. Kasi sabi ng doktor, inumin niyo po ito. Ayun siya. That's great. Ayun mo si Nora, pumilas. Inom. Three times a day. Bumalik niya kay doktor. Oh, hindi pa naman ang kalahati. Para naman para tayo na sa atin ang ating Panginoon na tutugunin niya yung ating mga paralangin. Mga hindi niyo na buwa pala yung sinuwa niya. Ito doon ko, hindi pa nga naman na atin. Kasi doktor. Kasi mo doon yung sinuwa niya. That's great. Hindi kasi nilinaw ni doktor, pilihin niyo to sa atin. At sasabi lang niya, inumin niyo po ito. Three times a day. Hindi siya, pag-uwin niya, pilas. Yang nanti beli, beli sini. Pembalik dia. Dok, pembalik dia. I tell you that he will bring about justice for them quickly. However, abe tu saule. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Tahu asam pung pasir lah. Para nak pada tanya, what on the earth? However, <clears throat> end times will not be delay of great uh, of great feet. Eight people yung pong naligtas nung sa panahon ni Noah. Apat nung sa panahon ni Lot. On the way, yung isa ay yung asimba. <clears throat> At yung pasahe po sa gaya ng 1 Timothy 4, 2 Timothy 3, no, is a picture of the last days. However, sorry po, dito, when the Son of Man comes, where will He find faith on earth? What does it mean? Jesus is just asking the question that when He comes, given that it's going to be a long time, will there be anybody left who is persistent like this widow? Kaya naman siyang masusumpungan kagaya nitong baro na patuloy na nananalagi. When he comes, will he find people praying for his return? Inapanalangin po ba natin yun pagbabalik ng Panginoon? O i-delay mo muna kami? Marahin po akong atapusin. Malayan pa akong gagawin. I-delay mo muna ang pagdating. I think, kung tatanungin po yung bawat isa natin, He would find many who calls themselves Christians seldom praying for His coming. Ginapanalangin po ba natin yung pagdating na natin kayo? When He comes, He will find His people still crying day and night, eagerly waiting for His return. Will we love His appearing? Will we be, will we be crying out, Maranatha, or in Sabin, our Lord comes? We will hope, beloved. We are true Christians and we have been given a tremendous promises. This is how it is going to end. So in the meantime, and we will suffer, and we are rejected and persecuted, and alienated, and the gospel is resisted, and Christ, Christ is dishonored, and sometimes we think it is going on 
tulong. But napakatagal naman. But sorry po, we are to continue to pray and live to the glory and honor of Christ. When we live and pray and live that way, it changes everything about our life. And so we pray persistently, calling on Him to come, to glorify Himself, to vindicate His Himself, to punish sinner, the throne Satan, establish His righteous kingdom, bring peace on the earth, reign as King of kings and the Lord of lords, then to create an eternal new heaven and new earth. Live the kind of life anticipating, anticipating the coming of the Lord and watch how it changes your mind. The Lord may not always answer our prayer with a yes. But he will always answer our prayer with what is this. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for God's young insights, young parallel. Kami ay tuloy sa panulangin na nagturo sa heart of God. Ano man, Panginoon, yung aming mga pinagdadaanan ay alam mo po Diyos. And we continue to patuloy po namin itong ginagal sa iyo, Panginoon. Because not unlike the unjust jobs, you are a loving father. You are a gracious God and you care for us, you care for thy children. Lord, to your God, you delight to hear the prayer of thy people. So as we talk about the Lord, you will be working at us. Lord, you know them by name. Lord, you know them by name. Even the hair, the even yung bilang po ng kanilang mga hair ay alam mo po ito. Alam mo po, Diyos, ano ang mga sitwasyon ng bawat isa. The Lord, may din mo po, Panginoon, ang mga uh, anak mo na nari dito sa kanilang mga sitwasyon ng God, deal them in a special way according to thy will of God. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po God for reminding us sa iyo mga salita pa ngayon that you are our advocate you are our provider our great healer you are our God and Lord we commit you everything you know, because we know Lord, that you are in control of heaven Lord, maraming salamat, Panginoon, sapagkat alam po namin na hindi pa namin binabanggit yung aming mga panalangin ay may nakahanda ka ng mga kasagutan sa mga ito. And we always praise you and thank you, Lord, sa anumang mga kasagutan ang mga aming mga panalangin ng iyong ipagkakaloob because we know that you know us, Lord, uh, ikaw po ang mas deep na nakakalang yung mga buti po para sa amin. So, ang pinag-aas po namin sa iyo, ang bawat kahilingan po ng aking mga kapatid, Lord, tulungin mo po, Panginoon, ayon sa iyong mga mga maraan at ayon sa iyong mga, ayon sa iyong kapanahunan. And help us, Lord, to persevere in prayer. Help us to wait, Lord, and you will receive the answer of my prayer. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po na kasi mga oras po ito, God, ay po namin po, God. Ang mga panalangin na namin doon, ay dininig mo, Panginoon, at ito ay yung susunod na ito. 
you love us. Kung kaya mong bigyan yung tugtong na anak na yung Panginoon sa Kristo upang matay doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo kung kami magkaroon ang buhay ng mga mga. How much more? Kung mga bagay pa, Panginoon, na aming gulungan mo sa inyo. Lord, you are the source of everything that your source and um, resources move on. I will not run out, you know, we continue to come to you in faith. We come to you, God, and we trust you, Lord, and praise you and thank you. So, mga masamita, so, mga na naibunan ng ikaw. Salamat po, ikaw, Diyos, sa iyong masamita. Salamat sa mga spirito. Patulo, ito siya. Nanguna na tuloy sa amin, tuloy na maghilumin sa mga sakita sa mga sa amin. Even or sa amin po na masalipan nito, taglay namin Panginoon ang kapalipan, ang patigakan, ikaw ay sumasami, at pinangako mo sa mga sakita, that you will never leave us, nor forsake us. Those who are coming to you, ay hindi mo itatagoy ng ilo. Lord, salamat po Panginoon. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen.